Now that we've worked with XML and parsing using JavaScript, we can explore AJAX. AJAX stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML and was made popular in 2005 by Google with Google Suggest. Google Suggest offers suggestions in the search bar when you start typing in a search query. One of its key features is the ability to update parts of a web page without reloading the page. This means pages are updated asynchronously by seamlessly exchanging small amounts of data behind the scenes. Many of the largest web applications use AJAX to deliver dynamic real-time content without page refresh. Some examples include Google Maps, Gmail, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. AJAX is based on internet standards and uses four key technologies to facilitate its methods. XML HTTP request objects. It uses XML for data transfer. JavaScript and DOM to parse and display information, and CSS to style data. This flowchart offers an illustration of how AJAX works. First, our web browser initiates and sends an HTTP request object using JavaScript. Our web server processes the HTTP request and generates a response. The response is sent back to the web browser. The language of exchange is often XML. We then use JavaScript again to parse the response from the server and display the data.